Hi there, Fred. FR5 ED with a silent five here from Beer Market in Schaumburg, Illinois, right outside of Chicago. Uh, I've been coming up here for a year this week or last week, and I think it's the first time I've done a beer review here. Uh, it may be my last trip here, so I thought I cannot miss out on this. Had a lot of great beers here. They've got 50 taps, probably 400 bottles. So it's kind of like a world of beer, like we have you know, back in Altamont Springs in Florida. Um, but it's I don't I don't know that it's a chain. I think they have two or three locations, but uh, you know maybe not on the scale of World of Beer. But it's good. They still have uh, you know a lot of different folks here with knowledge and uh, different levels of knowledge, and uh, always a good uh, variety on tap. And as an IPA, double IPA fan, there's always something to sample. I often do flights when I'm here. Two nights ago, I was here and did a flight of IPAs. Two out of the four were New England IPAs, which I've been finding hard to get a hold of in Florida still. <clears throat> Tried to brew them a couple times. Haven't nailed it yet, but I plan to once I start brewing again. What I'm having right now is allegedly a New England IPA. It is, oh, I'm going to try to remember the name of it, by Mill, Mill Brown. It's a Chicago brewery, and it's called uh, In Rainbows. Well, you're, by seeing the title of this video, you know what it is, even though I can't recall the whole title right now. BNL in Rainbows or something. It has raspberries, blackberries, oats. I forget what else they've added to this. Um, it is hazy, which is one of the hallmarks of a New England IPA, although it's not necessary per se. And I suspect that's from the oats they added, probably to achieve the haziness. Um, the bitterness is still there, maybe a little more than the New England IPAs that I've had. Um, the result is it looks like pink grapefruit juice. The taste, well first let me tell you about the aroma. Maybe not smelling like, uh, um, like grapefruit juice, but it, it's more of an aroma of mixed fruit. But the taste is, and drum roll, almost like a carbonated grapefruit juice. It's like they blended this with a target outcome to look like and taste like, if not smell like, pink grapefruit juice. So uh, it's impressive. It's not something I would brew myself. And I ordered this to follow up. I had a meal. I had a couple of beers and a meal here, and I kind of wanted something desserty. And I looked at this on the menu and thought, maybe that's desserty because it also apparently uses lactose. They use the word lactose, not lactic acid. So not towards sourness, but lactose is an unfermentable sugar. So I expected sweetness. The only sweetness that's in there is probably balancing the bitterness. So all I can say is it's it's like it's very similar to drinking some pink grapefruit juice, which I love anyway. So I'm enjoying it. Very interesting experiment here. So this is Fred of our 5ED from Beer Market in Schaumburg, Illinois, just northwest of Chicago, over and out.